Last week, my girlfriend and I went to see Barbie. Hi, Barbie. We loved it. I enjoyed it so much that I thought to myself, can the Barbie dream house be made in Minecraft? Luckily, Architectural Digest did an article on this very house from the movie, making my life a lot easier. So... Can we build this very pink and wonderful house in Minecraft? Let's find out. Now, I won't be using any blocks or texture mods, and I wanted to create this as realistic to the movie in default vanilla Minecraft. Starting with the first floor's layout, it did take me a while to map this out in my head and figuring out the space needed for the house. Outlining the floor with pink blocks and having white blocks on the inside was definitely the best way to add more depth to the house and allow the furniture to pop when we do place that inside. The swimming pool basically connects to the house on the ground floor, indoor-outdoor style. It's a funky bendy shape, which I'm hoping I did justice. Of course, there is the iconic Barbie slide we have to build, which I'm dreading. Now, in the movie, there isn't actually any water in the swimming pool because in Barbie land, everything is made of plastic. For this build, I added real water because I did want it to be playable in Minecraft. Now, it's time to build up and create the rest of the basic structure. Barbies are actually pretty tall toys, so naturally, the space in between the floors needed to be higher than a usual house and of course to make it movie accurate. Luckily, Minecraft recently added the cherry blossom blocks and these pink fences and trapdoors were going to be lifesavers for this build. It also meant that I could use 100% default Minecraft textures. The house has three levels, each getting smaller towards the top and it's supported in the center by this large, very pink structural pillar which houses the fireplace on the ground level. Now in the movie, there is a small spiral staircase at the back of the dream house. Barbie actually has teleportation on lock and because she's being played with hypothetically, she's able to get to different parts of the house as needed. I needed to add a way of accessing each floor for players in game. So I used the center pillar to conceal a staircase at the back. The great thing about this house is there's no need to worry about door frames or tiny windows because it's such an open concept and is built in that playhouse toy style. In the film and in the toys, there is kind of pink transparent glass throughout the house. So of course, we needed to include that with the pink glass panes. Now for the part I was dreading, the iconic pink slide. Somehow I had to build this slide, making it curve twice, starting on the top floor and ending on the corner of the swimming pool. It took a while to get it right and a lot of brain strain, but we got there and I think it's as good as it's going to get with full blocks and slabs and no modifications. Next on the agenda was setting the scene and adding the driveway. Now in the movie, the house sits on the end of a Barbie cul-de-sac. So there's a roundabout with a huge palm tree in the middle and all the Barbie's houses sit around around this. I wanted to build this so it gives the opportunity to expand and maybe build the whole neighborhood and hopefully if you're building your own versions of this house, it can give you some inspiration. As for the yard, it's surrounded by tall hedges so I curve them around and try to frame the house as best as possible without it looking too flat. To finish off the landscaping, palm trees needed to be added all around the build to give it that final touch, that chef's kiss. There is a lot of palm trees in Barbie land. We cannot forget about Barbie's iconic pink car, which I did try my best to build, and I think it looks okay. In the movie, I actually think it's a Corvette, but this is Minecraft, but I did my best. Around the swimming pool, there is a lot of sunbeds for the Barbies, so of course we had to add those, and the umbrella too. Finally, it was time for interior. Starting with the ground floor, there is a living area with couches, tables, and a circle bar. I also added a kitchen to the left side of the build and you can't really get a good look at this side of the house on Architectural Digest. On the second floor, Barbie has her shower of course and her walk-in closet where she gets dressed which houses the variety of outfits that she has. Now the furniture is not exact to the film as everything in the movie is of a larger scale. During this build, I also kept to the front of my mind that people were going to be playing this house in Minecraft so the furniture had to accommodate that. Of course, I tried to keep the furniture as pink as possible. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. That is it guys. The Barbie dream house in Minecraft. I will leave a link to the architectural digest article that I use as inspiration for this house in the description below. I think that I did it justice and I hope that you will truly enjoyed this video. If you would like a complete breakdown and block by block tutorial, let's hit 1000 likes and comment tutorial down below. With that being said, I will see you in the next Minecraft video.